Don Bosco uh, is known like this, no? He was uh, extraordinary in the ordinary. The Ratisbon Monastery in Rehavia in Jerusalem is a place full of history since its construction in 1874. Today and since 2004, it has become the Studium Theologicum Salesianum and is home to the Salesian Congregation of St. John Bosco. St. John Bosco was born in Italy in 1815 in Piedmont. At the age of two, his father died, and this marked an important point in his life and in his relationship with young people. At the age of nine, he had a dream that marked a turning point in his life. And at the beginning, he dreamed of young people that were fighting, and he was going there fighting to them because they were seeing blasphemies, bad words, things against God, things against the church. And then he dreamed of Jesus, and he dreamed of Mary, and they were telling him that he would have to take care of them. And so he dreamed about wolves that were starting to become sheep. He didn't understand at that time what that dream was, was about. But in the morning he woke up and he spoke with his grandmother, with, with his mother. And his mother thought maybe he will become a priest. Now he will have several dreams like this in his life that will accompany his vocation. After this dream, he invested himself in the people of his village. He organized activities, proposed times of discussion. In 1841, he decided to become a priest and to work with young people. He started in Turin with young people in prison and discovered a reality of abandonment and extreme poverty. Faced with this reality, he decided to dedicate his life to them and in 1846, he created an oratory. He founded the Salesians of Don Bosco, the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians, the Association of Salesian Cooperators, sort of third order. On the 18th of December 1859, the Salesian congregation was created in a particular context. During that period of time, Don Bosco uh, started to gather around him people, both priests, uh, but also lay people, and young people coming up from those young that he was gathering in the oratory. And it was night, it was evening, and they were in the, in the room of Don Bosco, and there were about 20 people. Uh, and they signed a document uh, that is the official birth of our congregation. There were priests, there were adults, and there were a lot of young people that already were working with Don Bosco. And so we can say that the Salesian congregation was really born for the young, with the young. Don Bosco's preventive system is based on reason, religion and amorevolezza, loving kindness. The charism is defined by several aspects, dedicating one's life to young people, the relationship with God as a consecrated person and life in community. The motto summarizes this charism perfectly. If uh, we want to synthesize, to summarize our charism in one sentence, we can take our motto. It's dami animas cetera tolle. It means give me the souls and take the rest. And it speaks about the mystical aspect of our life that is working for the souls, taking care of the soul, the salvation of people. And the ascetic part of uh, our life that is there and it's very, very important. Uh, take the rest. So whatever we do not need in order to save young people, we will abandon it. It means uh, comfort, it means uh, pleasure, it means whatever you may think that is not useful for our mission. Each vocation is different, but all wanted to commit themselves to young people. To be honest, the first approach was uh, that Salesian. No? I felt God's hand on me. So that person was a kind of uh, God's hand toward my, uh, my life. And then I wanted to become like this person, this priest. This is my first impression. No? And then little by little, uh, I knew that Lord God wants me to become like this person, to make, uh, to make my life uh, ready to serve him through the young, through what uh, Don Bosco did. 
because myself, uh, I was, uh, we can say, I am a product of this uh, uh, vocation. I was saved by a Salesian priest, and I want to do so to others also. Every day they try to follow what Don Bosco has taught them, transmitted to them. It's very interesting for us Salesians, we, we, we believe that uh, in our daily life we can see God every day in whatever we are doing, not only in time of prayer, in time of uh, studying right now, in time when we are with uh, uh, kids, with the young, everything that we are doing in ordinary life, it is a part of uh, God's uh, will, we can say like this. Don Bosco uh, is known like this, no? He was uh, extraordinary in the ordinary. So for, for ourselves to be sergeant today, to, to live ourselves with simplicity, to make known that God loves you wherever you are, so that we, we hope that we can bring this person in their places, in their situation to God, as Don Bosco did. And this is everyday uh, commitment. It's not easy, but we, we hope at least, we desire to live like this. The Salesians have evolved along the years to live with the times and make God accessible to everyone. Not only because what she did to me, you know, she saved my life, but because they are still searching to find the new modalities to, to, to make God closer to people. Present since 1893, the Salesians have a strong presence in the Holy Land. They have five houses which allow them to diversify their activities and their accompaniment of young people. Unlike the other houses, the monastery in Ratisbon is a theology centre that prepares 48 Salesian students from all over the world to become priests. The other houses are houses of formation and welcome for all young people who wish to do so. Now the first one to come to my mind is the one in Bethlehem. Uh, Bethlehem as a professional center for training people, learning job. There is a big oratory uh, with a scout group. Uh, there is a bakery that sells bread at an affordable price for people in need. And it's a real Salesian presence uh, in, uh, in that city. Another presence is uh, Kermizan. Kermizan is this beautiful uh, hill um, there is a winery, a famous winery, that produces wine and sell, let's say, all over the world. And, and here in the Holy Land, yeah, the winery exists since uh, 1885. And it's a, it's a jewel of uh, the Salesians in the Holy Land. Kermizan is also the sea of the provincial, uh, it's the provincial house, so the sea of the province of the Salesians in, in the Middle East and there is a house for retreat and they welcome visitors and pilgrims because there is a nice park. We are present in Nazareth. In Nazareth there is a technical school, there is an oratory and there is a public school. It is a big present uh, with a great church on the hill of, uh, of Nazareth. And we are present in Bet Jemal. Bet Jemal uh, is a large property uh, with a lot of olive trees that produces uh, olive. In the past it was a boarding school, now it's no longer a boarding school, but they welcome visitors, both Jews, Muslims and Christians. And it's famous because, uh, as tradition says, is the place where Saint Stephen was born. So it's one of the holy places in the, in the Holy Land. Like Don Bosco and in addition to these training centers, the Salesians are very present among the local population. Personally, I went uh, every Saturday to Bethlehem. So I have uh, uh, pastoral activities with two groups mainly, with the scout, the big group, uh, with kids and young. With them, usually I have a spiritual talk, spiritual sharing, and then we make some games, no? because our, uh, also our spirituality has to do with the, what the children lo love, no? They love games, so we love games and we play with them so that we, they might love what we love, if we pretend to, to, to do so, no? Uh, this was for Don Bosco, love what the ch uh, children love so that they can love what you, what you love, no? It's a big commitment, not easy, but this is what we do with Scout. 
uh, we can speak with them about Christ because they are all Christians. No? With the oratory, the youth center, they are mixed. No? Majority are Muslims. Uh, it is a gift for us that God has given us to, to, to serve uh, all people. No? So for example, for us, the oratory is a play, football. There is a, a kind of a human uh, formation. And with easy, you know, easy presence, uh, simple presence, but means a lot. Because they know I, we don't pretend to, uh, we don't serve others with, uh, with, uh, you know, with the object to, to, to make them like us or to put them a form. No, we love, out of God's love, we serve others. So without these distinctions, and this is a big gift, uh, really, to have not only Christians in our place. Unlike many congregations, we cannot distinguish Salesians by their religious habit. However, they do have a cross which allows us to distinguish them. Uh, this cross, we receive it in the day of our perpetual profession. Uh, this is the second sign that we receive. The first sign, we receive a medal when we, are, we made our first profession. When we are in the novitiate, so we start to make the first profession temporary uh, vows, we take a medal. This is a sign that we continue forever, we say yes forever to, to God, as a model of the Good Shepherd. So this, uh, it has to do uh, with all our identity, you know? Because here we have, we have the uh, uh, lamb putting on, uh, on, on the shoulder. is a symbol which uh, charge of meanings, you know? As our life, Jesus is bringing us you know? uh, on his shoulders so that we, we might, uh, by his grace, uh, uh, bring others on our shoulders, as they are. The Salesians have morning and evening prayer times, community and personal prayer times. It's true that we don't have sufficient between work and prayer because is uh, work can be seen as a prolongation of, uh, of prayer, so it's not uh, something that had to be put aside, no? And then surely, in, as work can be uh, considered as prayer, we, we need also to contemplate, to stay calm, to stay still, so that we can really create a room inside our soul to can, to, so that can welcome others. And this, our spiritual life, is, is not transforming us, making us able even to, to listen God's words and to listen others. I think uh, something wrong is going, no? So for this reason, it's good to uh, to be aware about this, no? about this personal time, uh, so that you can really <laughs> sit in purifying your attention, purifying your, your way of living, and, and go on. Because we know that whatever we do, we, we don't merit all these good things God is giving us. Because He is merciful, He is, uh, he is love, so we can, we can journey. Otherwise, no person with His muscles can, can do it. Mm -hmm.